Howdy from Denver. I'm Kevin. My favorite hobby is building arcade cabinets. It started about 15 years ago. In that time, I've put everything in these things. I've run Windows, I've run Linux, I've run the original Xbox, 360, PlayStation 2, just about anything you can do to get an emulated game on a screen, I've tried it. And with that, I've found that the most difficult problem to solve is getting the arcade controls encoded. I've tried pad hacks, I've bought just about every solution on the market, and it's really a difficult thing to get them exactly set up like you want. So, I decided that it was time to do something about that, and working with John and Bruno, we've come up with Cade. Hi, I'm Bruno, also known as Good Sector. I'm a member of the Cade development team, and I'm very excited to announce the Cade Encoder, a cost-effective, open-source, open-hardware arcade encoder. Hi, I'm John from the UK. My background is in software design and development. I'm one of the Cade developers. I like to mess around with electronics and to build cool stuff like these arcades that you see around here. I'm well aware of the problems that people face when they try to integrate the control panels with the computer systems and the consoles that they use them with. Um, Kevin and Bruno share my passions for arcades, so together we made this. It's called Cade. It's a cool device. We're really excited about it. Let me show you why. So here's one of my Bartop arcade cabinets. It has working controls. This arcade has an Xbox console inside, like this one. Some people hack the game pads to interface with the controls. This often requires difficult soldering. We don't need to do that anymore. There's a groundbreaking alternative. This control panel is powered by a Cade. Let me show you inside. There's the Cade. The wiring from the arcade joysticks and buttons connects to the screw terminals. The brains of the Cade is here. A small AVR microcontroller which can be removed without disturbing the wiring and plugged into a USB port. Our powerful PC software can then be used to set up CAD to work with your control panel. This software is called CAD Loader. In the diagram you can see that the CAD has numerous terminals or pins for wiring up your CAD controls. The connections shown in black are inputs from joysticks, buttons and other arcade parts. There are 20 pins and they are split into two sections, A1 to A10 and B1 to B10. Each of these pins can be assigned to a function like up, down, left, right, fire, exit, etc. The HWB pin is used to activate a shifted mode so you can assign an additional function to each pin, giving you 40 inputs in total. With the CAD connected to a USB port, you can configure it to work with any one of the systems which are displayed on the left. Currently you can pick from a list of firmwares for various consoles including PlayStation 3, PlayStation 1 and 2, original Xbox and various computer systems PC, Mac, Linux, Android. They can be used with USB head joystick and USB keyboard encoder. There are MAME and pinball firmwares too. At its most simplest you can select a firmware and click Program CAD with selected firmware button. On the right you can see a table which shows the functions that have been assigned to the various CAD pins. This table can be printed for your reference. These basic features are provided free. You can customize the device to work with your control panel. You can pick a firmware, let's choose the Xbox Gamepad encoder as an example, and select the customization option. You can now pick from a huge list of supported functions for your system. Each pin can be assigned to a function. In my custom mapping, I will add a new function to pin A7. Let's choose auto fire. And for pin B7 to B10, let's assign inputs for the right analog stick. When we're done, we can save the changes. After saving, you'll notice that the table updates to show your new mappings. Now we can program as we did before. And Cade confirms that it's programmed and ready for use. Let's now look at customization for MAME. This is similar to what you just saw for Xbox, but there are some very useful presets. If you are building a two-player cabinet, you can select MAME, players 1 and 2 preset. 
This gives you all the correct key codes for use with MAME. MAME currently has about 75 functions to select from. You can import and export your custom mappings too. This is useful if you want to copy your settings to another machine or share your setup with a colleague. Give the XML file a name and then save it to your documents. Well that was a quick tour of Cade Loader and its current capabilities. Expect new systems and features to come online as the product evolves. So this is a fully functional prototype of the Cade hardware and it has two major components. First of all we have a small USB programmable microcontroller and we, we have the Cade software running on a couple of different boards and this is the one that we've settled on for our initial run. Uh, really happy with the price and performance on it. And it's a, it's a bit small. We actually had, had experimented with using really small terminals directly on the AVR, but we found out that you'd use little teeny tiny screwdrivers and they were really hard to get in and out to, to program. So we have this prototype here where we've taken the microcontroller and we actually have a board that you slide it right on there. And the intention for this board is that it would stay inside of your fight stick or your arcade cabinet and if you need to do any kind of programming you can just pull off the AVR, do the programming, put the microcontroller right back on. So this part stays in your cabinet, it's with full size terminals, uh, found some really good quality terminals that we're very happy with. So we've got another, another prototype that we did. Um, it functions really well. This is a, another revision where we're, we're changing some of the screw holes and we actually have a, a third revision that just went off to the fabrication house and uh, that seems to be the one that's going to go out on the Kickstarter. So a little more space to mount, do the mounting and a um, little more space for the screw terminals and we're, we're really happy with that. We hope you'll take a few minutes and take a close look at the project and consider supporting us. We've really surpassed all of our initial goals. We have a device and software that we're really very proud of. And it's functional right now. I'm actually going to play a game here in a couple of minutes as soon as I'm done with this video. There's no lag. It's easy to set up. It can be configurable if you want it to be. You can hook it up to a PlayStation one day and put it on your PC or your Android tablet the next. Yeah.